cluster analysis we'll be discussing about cluster analysis using k mean cluster k mean cluster is used when we have an idea how many clusters the data is going to form into in hierarchical cluster we discussed that the researcher does not have an idea about how many groups the data will be clustered into now we will be seeing how to perform this k mean cluster using spss we'll go for the analysis in analysis we go for classify in classify we discuss about k mean cluster in part 1 we discussed about hierarchical cluster now we will be discussing about performing k mean clusters now in the total example we have five variables i will use all five variables in clustering age okay i have transferred from left to right side all the five variables here number of clusters are two but in hierarchical cluster we have come to a conclusion that the data is divided into <coughs> three clusters so i am giving the number 3 now i go for iteration this is okay nothing to do any changes in this menu we go for save now i want each case in the example to be grouped into one cluster so i am selecting this button called as cluster member distance not required because already we decided they are going to have three clusters continue in the options i want to have anova table i don't even want to have initial cluster set i am taking only anova table and click continue so in k mean cluster the research has already pre notion how many clusters we are going to use <clears throat> and we have decided what are the variables to be used and i am only doing here is just saving the clusters into membership that is each case will be converted it will be grouped into one of the three clusters now i am saying okay now this is the output we can see the total data is divided into three clusters we'll directly see the final cluster centers age wise if we see first cluster is having 25 years around second cluster is 34 and third cluster is 29 okay we'll discuss this in elaborate as we go we'll see just see anova is age having significant difference between the three clusters we'll see this sig significant value if this significant value is less than 0.05 it is significant so age has a significant in differentiating the group work experience has significant okay third one fourth and fifth i love my job i am expertise in my job i am satisfied with my job this all variables have significant difference in clustering and we can see here number of clusters number of cases in each cluster first cluster has 150 cases are there second cluster 70 cases are there and third cluster 164 cases are there so total they are 384 so first cluster is having and third cluster is having major number of cases while uh, second cluster has only 70 so this is all the output we have but if you go to spss data file now we'll see the cluster this is called clustering you can see a other variable is created cluster 
the variable is created called cluster numbers for each cases cluster number is created when i have executed k min cluster command if you come for data we can see here each case is grouped under one cluster for example the first respondent first case is grouped into cluster 1 second case is uh, recorded into or grouped into 3 cluster 3 third again to cluster 3 fourth case into 1 fifth case into cluster 2 so in this way all the cases are grouped into one of the three clusters this is what is the speciality of k mean cluster we have an idea how many clusters are to be formed and we have given the command to divide the total cases into number of clusters required now each case is being divided into clusters now let, let me see what is the difference between uh, each cluster in terms of the variables like age wise uh, work experience and love towards job, expertise and job satisfaction. To do this one, I am going to do ANOVA. Okay, ANOVA now I am doing to see how much is the difference is there between the groups or clusters in terms of each variables. So I am going for analysis. In analysis, common mean in this i am doing one over okay so i'll take all the five variables as dependents cluster number as factor i want to do post hoc to keep i have selected and i am seeing significant level is 0 0.05 i am keeping the analysis in a simple way so that we will actually come to a conclusion in interpreting the data. Instead of selecting all the options, I am selecting the options in a minimum level so that we come to a conclusion basically this is uh, what we call my easy statistics to understand what is required. So simply I have carried on all my five variables. I went for post hoc In this I have selected to keep and I have seen that uh, the significant level is 0 0.05 continue and now I say ok here I am using one way ANOVA in order to differentiate how variables are differentiated between the clusters ok age wise is if I take it it is significant I am seeing only these things I am seeing how age is having significant, yes it is significant, work experience is also significant, uh, I love my job is significant, I am expert in my job, variable is significant, I am satisfied with the uh, my job is also significant. So all five variables have significance in differentiating the clusters. Let me see between the variables, within the variables I want to just first see age wise age has three categories for three clusters one two three so if you see age first cluster to second cluster has a significant first cluster to third cluster is also significant we can see this one if sig value is less than 0 0.05 it is significant means age wise first cluster to second cluster there is a difference and second cluster to third cluster also is having a difference but if you see carefully observe the same column we come to this value which is called 0 0.932 which is not significant means the variable I love my job there is no difference between third cluster to second cluster I want to see in this way also second cluster to third cluster there is no significant difference age wise all three clusters have a difference work experience wise there is a difference but when you are talking about but when you are talking about the Likert scale I love my job second 
is not second cluster has not uh, having any difference with third cluster and vice versa same way third is not having any difference with second cluster and i am expert in this case also second is not having any difference with third cluster and i am satisfied with uh, my job uh, this variable is also having second is significant yes only for these two variables i love my job and i am expert in my job second cluster is not having any difference with the third cluster apart from this all clusters have significant difference in terms of age work experience and i love my job variable i am expert in my job i am satisfied with my job so this is what we conclude you can see the clusters wise how age wise they are divided if you see age wise first cluster is around 25 years second clusters are around 30 years third cluster is around 33 years this is how they are been divided and if we come for work experience also first cluster people are young people they are 2.32 years of experience around third cluster you see third cluster is 4.84 years and second cluster is having highest uh, experience the same thing is also here first cluster third cluster and second cluster means people who are having more age are grouped into second clusters second cluster is having 33 years third cluster is having 29 years and here if you see third cluster is having 4.8 years of experience whereas second cluster is having 8.5 years so we have first cluster young people around 25 years second cluster is 33 years having around uh, this is what is classified as whereas second cluster uh, third cluster is in the mean that is 29 in the middle of this two and work experience also 4.84 the same thing can be seen here also when i say i love my job how they have given the rating first cluster people who are young have not rated it as strongly agree but when you come for the higher age people high experience people they have rated as they love age means more experienced people as they get experience with the job they are liking their job and when i say i am expert in my job also there is a slight difference is there but it, that's what we discussed there is not much difference between second and third clusters but if you see here again there is a difference between second and third cluster there is a difference but here we don't have any difference means i am expert in my job second and third cluster is not having any difference the same thing we have seen here when we say this one i i am expert in my job second and third is not having any difference second and third is not having any difference this word because significant value is what here we have one right and if you see this one also uh, second and third is not significant i love my job yeah they are nearly equal 4.34 4.37 they are coming into the same clusters when you come for i am satisfaction wise there is a difference this is 4.09 this is 4.51 i love my job okay i am i am satisfied i am satisfied with my job there is a difference you can see 0.003 so what we conclude is if the significant value is less than 0.05 there is a difference between the clusters so we come to conclusion age wise work experience wise and satisfaction wise there is a difference between cluster 1 to cluster 2 cluster 2 to cluster 
Cluster 1 are young people, then like 25 years around, low age people. When you come for cluster 2, they are 33 years people. And when you come for cluster 3, they are around 30 years, 29 years, something is given. But when I come for this, I love my job and I am expert in my job. Cluster 2 and cluster 3 is not having any difference. This is what is seen from 0 0.39. Uh, 0 0.932 and uh, 1. There is no significant difference between cluster 2 and cluster 3 in when we come for the variable I love my job and I am expert in my job. But remaining three variables have a very significant difference between cluster 1, 2 and 3. So this is all about cluster analysis, k-mean, clustering. Thank you.